I'm the chairman of this company and the founder, and I have been the chairman ever since the company was founded about 10 years ago. Um, the reason to develop this uh, away from academia, uh, and mind you, the way that we set it up is we, uh, we still have very close relationships with academia, is because working in, uh, in the public sector gives us a freedom uh, and, a, and an opportunity to do things that we want to do in, very rapidly and translate science into utility very, very quickly. Uh, that's the reason to do it this way. And the attraction for someone coming in is to join in this enterprise, join in this excitement uh, that it's hard to do in, in an academic setting. And they can see the results on a daily basis, what's happening both at the uh, clinical level as well as the research level. There's a vast knowledge base now uh, for uh, genetics and cancer that, that has accumulated over the last 20, 30 years. And so innovation follows knowledge. And that requires high scientific talent to focus in and cull through and go through and evaluate what that knowledge is and how we can apply. Uh, in a company like this, innovation is directed to application and that's what we specialize. Uh, the, the, the process is taking the basic knowledge that comes out of research labs and do a type of research here that translates into utility to the patient, welfare of the patient. Uh, that can be done best here than elsewhere. So the leadership of this company is young and aggressive all the way from the uh, CEO to the various heads of the departments, and, and that's, the way, that's the way we recruited them with, with that idea. So people have vision and people are uh, aggressive and enthusiastic in, in doing what they're doing. And we have a unique uh, uh, set of leaders here that have outstanding qualifications and yet have that edge, that, that drive and that hunger to uh, get to where they want to get to quickly. First of all, you have to understand what the mechanistic diversity is between tumors of individual patients and then develop drugs targeted to those differences and those uh, uh, abnormalities that lead to those differences. Only then we can talk about true personalized medicine. That is, uh, it, it's, it, it's that truly addressing individual cancer. That's the ultimate goal here of this company, to understand what cancer A uh, means uh, in terms of its biology from cancer B of the same kind in two different individuals and, and how we develop, uh, based on that understanding, targets for um, drugs and other ways that we can deal with. And that's what's called personalized medicine, and that's what we, we, we try to at. In, in my 50 years in this field, uh, it's never been dull, every day has been exciting, but right now is the most exciting period that is there. Science is, um, you know, moving in leaps and bounds and we see great opportunities, great future to participate in that for a young person who wants to. Uh, get engaged. There's no better time than this. And, uh, and we, we like to think that uh, we are on that cutting edge so, so, so that uh, we can welcome uh, people that are really, really hungry for that, yeah. that experience and that excitement. Yeah.